pushes it right to the 22, where Nathan Wong is waiting. Brazier. And here's McAllister. Top try scorer so far, and look at that. Step with ease off her left foot and left Kukina in the dust. And that is how Kayla McAllister is going to start this match. She has really come here to make a statement, Kayla McAllister. Hasn't she? Seven tries already this weekend. First touch of the ball. Step out, step in, pin the ears back in under the post. I mean, it really is very impressive indeed. Nobody laid a finger on her. Nathan Wong makes the count. Now. Yes. Yes. She the, the defence. And just what this inexperienced Russian team didn't need. They'll already be low on confidence after the first two games and then to go a try down before they've even touched the ball other than the kickoff without even laying a finger of a tackle on the opposition. That hurts. Good high kick. Goss was under it. Left it behind, however. Look. treating herself with a scoop of chips tonight. No, she won't. Very, very close though, wasn't it? That takes a really? huge amount of practice to get those Crouch. right with the kicker in you. You've got to be really aggressive, Fine. chasing Set. a hand in the air. So, moving it to the centre where McAllister no advantage. just takes no her eye off the ball. Kazakova off opposite Kayla McAllis breathing a sigh of relief there on that ball. Went to ground, you could see her beckoning inside to come and support her on the inside shoulder. And you can hardly blame her. Kazakova no slouch either. Crowd. Fantastic try. Bind. Set. He has a lot on her shoulders this weekend as captain in the absence of all those big players. And here she is here. It's a fend on. One on one with McAllister. Tagololi. Want to Coming in offside there was Kelly Brazier. Stealing, side entry. So, tap from Lushina and a bit of ball play there. Here's Zodrakova, a new speedster debuting here in Brazil. Tagololi. And they're still on the attack here with Rastrova. And good. She dies on that sideline. Completely outnumbered Bistrova, wasn't she? Three New Zealand players on one. Absolutely nothing she could do about that. Tui. Lined up against Kukurova. Nice ball into Goss. Brazier. Pass off to McAllister. Simkins not needed at this point. Just pulled Advantage. by the collar there for sure. Kazakova. Referee's got the advantage. Advantage is over. It's a dance on. Decides to move it. Williams. Good pass to Goss. And here's Tui. Ruby Tui's got room to move. And very easy try for Ruby Tui, who is waiting patiently on the wing and gets the reward. Yeah, good finish from Ruby Tui. Elena Zendrakova showed her inexperience there, not even getting the tackle. She needed to take Ruby Tui a little bit lower, probably had only enough space to make the tackle, but didn't. But again, he did it. took the ball all the way to one side of the pitch, and the, the, with excellent handling, just brought it all the way back again. And in the end, the last pass ends up in the hands of Ruby Tui, and a bit of space. Quietly efficient this New Zealand performance, isn't it? Not really putting 
a foot wrong, keeping the ball in hand, moving it to the open spaces until they manage to make a gap. Russia really not having any chance at all. Back. So the ball goes back off the river. Play on. Release it into the pocket. Back. To Kina. Getting smashed by Williams. Maintain position by Russia. Here's Kazakova. So good work from Russia, although well behind the 22. Need to make some meters. A run by Rostrova. Kina just trying on. Rostrova again. Here's a cover. Those three just playing their own little game on that short side. Oh, they move it now. Nope, short hit instead to Kulevskaya. Kina. They've made about four metres. And that spills oh, off. Williams is on it. She got hit from the side. Yeah, Russia were making it really difficult for themselves not taking the ball into contact. They kept offloading. What that meant is there was no breakdown, there was no offside line. So every time they looked up to try and pass the ball back, there were New Zealand players in the way. Sometimes you've just got to take the ball forward as hard as you can, create an offside line and make the defence work hard to get back onside. Williams' mistake down. Russian line-up Clear. It's a long one where Brazier collects. Brazier with that fantastic left foot step. What can you do about that? She's a magician, isn't she? Kelly Brazier. Yeah, nothing you can do about that, really. And she had a player on her shoulder as well, so the poor defender is trying to defend one of the best steps in world rugby and the second player. Here she goes. It's just poetry in motion, that step. Twice, twice off the left foot and in under the post. First represented the Black Ferns, which is the 15 assigned team. She's been a regular here for the Sevens team as well. She was the scorer in 2010. Of course, she won the Sevens Rugby World Cup in Moscow in 2013. So there's the half time score 21 to 0. It is New Zealand leading Russia. Tudo bem? Então, logo tiveram já nos anos os confrontos do segundo dia amanhã. Como é que é? Aqui mesmo, Maria. Nós estamos aqui, nós estamos aqui, nós estamos aqui, mas se nós tivéssemos um chop tackle, nós talvez teríamos uma chance de ganhar para a bola. Então, só esses primeiros chop tackles, se nós pudéssemos chop them, nós iríamos para lá. Como você pode ver, eles estão a colocar a bola. Well, I hope they've got first aid down there because Pavel Karanovsky looks like he's going to have a heart attack. That might be the most animated or angry I think I've ever seen him in one of those huddles. He does look like he's about to burst, burst a blood vessel. To be fair to this Russian team, there's so many changes in the last one, and it's hard to keep in shape. And they're missing the key players. You know that has been their standout yeah. moment. Something like that. Out of the mix. It makes it look good. And they're up against the team playing at the height of their powers compared to how they played in the final two. Vamos para o segundo tempo. O placar parcial do Won that easily. Brazier again. Just playing on that advantage line. Here's Tui. Nice transition. Nathan Wong. Broughton's on. Broughton's on. And if you've got Brazier on one side, you've got Broughton on the other. The two Bs have just been fantastic today. 
This is definitely going to be in the team after the Super Cup season in Gelford. Looked up, there was no, there were, there was no overlap, not much pressure, not much pressure on the there. A little, just a little step, and another one offers the ball up one-handed. It doesn't need to make the pass, because she did. Poor old Fata Simpkins, she's been hanging out <laughs> waiting for a pass, and if it's not warm, it's the pass, she's going to get it. It's the last one, 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 it's the last one. Quite keen to to beat the gap from the score in Dubai, New Zealand. Quickly, I please. think. The only problem is if you end up top into the quarters, you might end up playing Fijiana. We know that they can actually <laughs> upset any team. We'll wait and see how that plays out. Stay. Nearly offside. and those extra two points can make all the difference. Not in this game. So, so Russia deep, once again pushed back. They're trying their hearts out. This is promising here, and it's Zadrukova. Zadrukova on the outside. Is Vada Simpkins going to be able to reel her in? No, and that is the speed that Baranowski was talking about for the young debutant. Oh, 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 oh. Made her mark in this match. And oh, 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 oh. Good for Strukva, we've been waiting for it all day, haven't we? We talked about it right up front, that she's got pace. We didn't know how much pace she had. We do know, though, that Katerina Fata-Simpkins has pace. She couldn't catch her. Great finish. Pretty tired there. Just 19 years old. Temperatures still soaring on the sideline there for Karamoski. Looks like he's been out in the sun a little bit too long, doesn't he? He looks a little calm. <laughs> who knows who he's talking to? Deep kick put in there, two a younger name. Nice Ooh. short ball to Manuel. Manuel's line straight through the middle. She saw there was nothing but open space in front of her. And great way to come on off the bench. Brilliant. Lovely to see Brazier and Manuel linking up the game. Manuel's been out a long time, but how many times have we seen the two of them linking up? It was Brazier's step through the gap, and then the offload to Manuel who cut 
the line off her like any good 15 cents that she is would. And show that she's still got that power. She certainly did. But really her ability to know when to time the hit, isn't it? It's lovely. Connor Simpkins takes over conversion duties. Passing in desperation now, just want to move the ball away. So nearly finished this final pool game for both Russia and New Zealand. Can they finish off with a spark for the Russians? Big hit coming in there from the big Play shoulders on. of McAllister. Somehow, Russia absorbed that. Because they're tough, that's why Fepilofa. Kavuyla, well, she's put in a big run here, but who's chasing? Ruby Tui, good fitness, makes another tackle too. <laughs> Mac. How fantastic was that defence? Russia still have it. Can they make this try? Yes, because they've given it to the speedster, Zadrokova, at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, they did a very good finish, didn't they, Russia? Talk about gas. I half expected Ruby Tui to pop up with the third tackle there on the jumper. The great heart from Russia, great heart from them pushing all the way to the end. Ruby Tui does everything she possibly can to stop the scoring. Amazing that she got up to make that second tackle. But Zdrog Prokovic so pleased with that. Kisses the ball, plants it down. Great heart from the Russians. Final de partida, final. Final de 